Good morning, friends and enemies. My name is Nikki, and welcome to my channel. If you have never been here before, please make sure that you click that subscribe button and that like button if you end up liking what you see today. But if you read the title, then you already know that I am late to the game. But today we will be reviewing the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton collaboration. The new season is coming out soon, you guys. The trailer is out if you haven't seen it. So I figured better late than never. So I've already done my base. Those products will be listed down below just because they're not really Pat McGrath related except for my foundation, which is the, I think it's called the Sublime, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Look at this bottle, you guys. Oh my gosh, stunning. Let's get to it. I will start with swatches and then we will go over each color and see what Pat McGrath says about each of them. Also, I apologize for all the lighting changes. I do film with natural light, so I just take what I can get. <laughs> but I'm gonna pull up the Pat McGrath website right now and we'll see what she says in terms of what these colors translate to or how she describes them because Pat McGrath, you know, she just, she has a way with words. And I just, I don't know how to describe it. The way she describes things is insane. Okay, so let's get into some stats. This, again, is the Pat McGrath Bridgerton collaboration. It is a six-pan eyeshadow palette priced at $65. Currently, as I'm filming this, it is still available on the Pat McGrath website. I did purchase mine right when it launched. I had an alarm ready to go, woke up at 6 in the morning. <laughs> To buy this palette i also purchased the highlighter which we'll go over later but let us let's do some swatches so we have iconic ingenue which is an opalescent champagne highlighter we have art of the swoon a luminous pink satin matte we have regency blue an iridescent blue astral plum regalia is a velvety plum taupe matte Duchess Divinity is a platinum rose metallic. And last but not least is Love Match, a brilliant berry satin matte. So those are the shadows. Those were the swatches. I have not used this palette on my eyes yet. If you watched my palette collection video, um, I mentioned that the reason why I haven't used this on my eyes is because of the embossing in the palette. Pat McGrath has never come out with a palette that has any type of embossing detail. So I just, I've wanted to preserve it for so long, but I think it's time. So let's zoom you guys in and we will do four looks. We'll basically do one look on each eye. I'll remove that and we'll come back and do two more looks. Okay, awesome. I hope you guys can see. For the first look, we're gonna do this eye. I'm going to start with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eyeshadow Primer. This is my favorite one. It's probably the only one that really works for me, so that's what we're gonna start with. I'm gonna apply that, and then we'll be right back. Okay, you guys. Um, I don't really know what I want to do. We're kind of just gonna wing it. Brushes will also be linked down below, but they're basically just refer brushes. I really enjoy these. Also, yes, I do have an upper lip mustache. Let's just ignore that. You know, we don't know her, and that's just how that is. I'm going to first start with a refer 15 brush, and I'm going to go into Art of the Swoon. Okay, so if you guys are unfamiliar with the Fenty primer, it is a tacky primer, but I have really oily eyelids, so it's the only one that really keeps my like sparkly eyeshadows from creasing. So let's let's see how this goes. I mean, this is a very light color, so I'm just gonna do that all over the eyes. Um, I do tend to wing out the shape of my eyeshadow just because I have hooded eyes and I feel like that's what tends to look the best. This is gonna be a very simple eye look. I'm slowly starting to try to get into more graphic, graphic eyeshadow looks, but it's hard, you guys. <laughs> so we're gonna go with something simple today. 
All right, so once we have kind of that basic shape down like that, I'm going to take my Refer 14, Refer 14 brush, go in with Love Match and deepen that crease. I watched um, Morgan Turner's video on this when it first came out. And I think she was right when she said that like these two colors in particular, they are a little similar. So, you know, the question is that did these both need to be in this palette? I don't know. But it really does help like create depth as you can see. That first shade, Art of the Swoon, stays pretty light. So you can't really build that much depth with it. But that definitely, yeah, that's so much deeper looking already. Um, still with the Refer 14, I'm not going to clean my brush. I'm just going to go back into that lighter pink shade and run that under my eyes. And then taking that darker pink shade on the outside. Okay, cute, cute. Alrighty. I'm going to take my Intensify stick, the Pat McGrath Artistry wand thingy. I do really like this. And I do feel like it makes my like sparkly shadows like stand out. I'm gonna take this, <laughs> it's just like a dinky little brush from like a Daiso knockoff called Miniso from, I got this back when I was still in the Philippines, but it's just like a dense like flat brush. So I'm gonna take that and I grab the product on there. I don't like to swipe this product like directly on my eyes just because I feel like I don't, I just don't want it to get dirty. Like it already looks kind of gross and I just don't want to make it any dirtier, you know. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna map out the shape that I want for this next bit. So you can just see what I'm gonna do right here. So I'm gonna take it right here and kind of bring it up above my crease if you can see right in this center portion right here and in my inner corner as well and without cleaning my brush i'm gonna use that same brush sticky side down and i'm gonna add the astral shade regency blue and i'm gonna put it right where we lay that color down so if you are not familiar the the pat mcgrath special shades can leave a lot of fallout so just be careful having a sticky base definitely helps in terms of preventing fallout oh wow that color is stunning oh and of course the light comes just so you guys can see how stunning this color is oh my god that's actually beautiful and I'm gonna bring it into the inner third of my eye as well. And just keep bringing that color up and out. And just kind of pat it into place. Okay, perfect. Make sure you get that inner corner. Do you guys see how stunning this shade is actually? Beautiful! I am going to take a tiny, tiny little brush, if I can find one. This is a Beauty Bay brush, just like a tiny little pencil brush kind of situation. This is called the Strike Out, Strike Out brush. Anyways, um, we're gonna go into that rose gold metallic shade called Duchess Divinity, and we're gonna run that in the inner part of our lower lash line. Oh god, that's so pretty too. Oh, that's so pretty. Stop. Stop. Grabbing the Refer 14 brush again. I didn't clean it. You can see it still has the pink. I'm going to go back into that blue astral shade and very gently just dust it on my brow bone. Just to kind of connect those colors. I don't mind having a slightly pink brow bone kind of just makes it a little more editorial kind of you can even connect that like right here there you go and like now our whole eyelid is nice and shimmery i'm going to add eyeliner and mascara and i will be right back <laughs> 
Okay, and we're back with lashes and liner. I actually just used that plum shade in the palette for liner, but here is the eye look. Awesome. Okay, I really like how that turned out. We're gonna go ahead and do the other side. I know that I was just talking about how um, I don't like to do scary like liner, graphic liner looks, but um, I just decided just now that that's what we're gonna do. So we are going to take Plum Regalia and make kind of like a graphic wing shape. I can't talk during this part. I just have to focus because otherwise I'm gonna mess up, but I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So we're just gonna make a little graphic line shape like that. I have to say this shade, in terms of using it as liner, does have quite a bit of fallout, which I don't enjoy, but I think that's just because it is a slightly powdier, slightly powdery your color. That's why it's doing that. I'm gonna bring it on the lower lash line as well and just connect. So again, I have hooded eyes, so I don't really have very much space in terms of what I can do. Okay, do you see this? I think I want to clean up that bottom a little bit, so I'm actually gonna just grab a Q-tip and kind of clean up that bottom. Taking a clean, fluffy brush to brush away the fallout. Yeah, it doesn't really want to brush away. Like, I don't know if you see that. Kind of just blended in. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm just gonna keep refining this shape and then when I have it ready, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm happy with kind of how this looks. It still looks a little messy, like right underneath there. But basically all I did was kind of, do you see like where your crease naturally is? I just used that to connect up to my wings. You kind of have this gap right here, you know? So it kind of makes your eye look very extended and then you just stop it midway through so you don't want to go any further than the center of your eyelid and then connect to the bottom like so i would do that thing where people kind of extend the center of their eyelid but i can't seem to make that work for me right now so i'm not gonna do it <laughs> okay so going back to the artistry one we're just gonna do the same thing but we're gonna do it in that gap you know so I'm just gonna use this same brush from earlier, grab more product, and then just put it right on the inner part of my whole lid. And yes, we are putting some of that astral sparkle on there, but that's fine because we are gonna go in with that later anyways. All right, so I'm not sure what I wanna do because I kind of want to put Duchess Divinity on the inside of that and then put the astral shade in the center. Or I don't know if I want to do just the astral shade all over that kind of gap in the lid. I feel like that could be cool. I'm going to do that. Okay, so we're going to take the blue astral shade, Regency Blue, and just put that right where we put all of that artistry wand eyeshadow primer stuff. Okay. And with the artistry wand, I'm not even getting like any fallout from this shade, which is great. So I feel like normally I would get fallout, but I'm not getting anything. So again, you just want to put that shimmer shade in the whole gap right there. I'm sorry that this lighting is really weird. Let me move. Just because again, I, I only use natural light. There we go. Stunning. Dude, this shade is, is actually so, so pretty. Okay. For the bottom lash line, I think, what shall we do for the lower lash line? I think I'm just gonna stick to that, to that pink because I do wanna use it in this look. So we're gonna run that on the bottom. And then with that same brush, I'm going to take Iconic Ingenue and put that in my inner corner. Definitely on the subtle side, but cute. Okay. Let me do my lashes and show you guys how I do that. I use the Refer Eyelash Curler. I'll be you just curl your lashes as you would normally. There we go. I have very short lashes. And then using the Etude House Curl Fix. Yep, my Etude House Curl Fix Mascara on my upper and lower lashes. And that's the exact same mascara I used for this other eye. 
got it on my lid. Okay, done. I'm going to just use my finger and grab Iconic Ingenue again and put that on my brow bone. Cute. Okay. And this is our second this is our second look. Very simple. And you could do this with literally any shadow, you know? Just do that same trick with the winged liner and then put like a transparent topper shade and you're done. Okay, let's zoom you guys back out. Hello, it's my whole face again. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay here. This looks very weird. I've never had just two different eye looks on my eyes. Um, but let us, let's actually use a Pat McGrath blush. Okay, I'm going to, okay. With the Refer 4 brush, I'm going to go in with Flirtatious. That's this one. I believe that this is an online, like to her website only exclusive. At least that's how it was when I bought mine. Um, so I'm just gonna take that all over. So I start in the center and pull it out and up. This is a really sheer shade. So, I mean, you could go ham ham crazy with this color and you probably still would not go overboard with it and i'm just gonna use that for both sides because i feel like it works with both looks just blend that into your bronzer contour this is one of her matte blushes by the way so there's no um there's no like shimmer or anything i also like to push my put my blush on my forehead and also on my chin and obviously like across my nose bridge as well and I also have the Divine Blush Glow Trio in Amber Allure. This is the deeper one. Um, I got this as a present. And then we're going to take this middle shade right here. This is Paradise Venus. And I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. So just on the center. So not too much. We're not going to go too crazy with this blush. Same thing. Nose bridge. Forehead closer up to the hairline and then right on the center of my chin. Yes, cute. We like it, Picasso. Next is the Divine Glow Highlighter. This is again also the Bridgerton highlighter. This is my first like single highlighter from Pat McGrath apart from the one that's in that palette. But can we just admire? Can we just admire this? I've only been using it on this one corner, like right here, so that I don't ruin the precious angel baby. So I'm going to take this brush from Odin's Eye. This is from the Freya collection. This is the FR1 brush. I'm going to use that for my highlighter today. So I'm just going to pick it up from that corner and just dust it on the high point of my cheeks. I want kind of a more like, oh, look at that. Look, oh, dude, Pat McGrath really just... I just want a more targeted highlighter look. Same thing on the other side. Just on the high point of the cheeks. Center of the nose, of course. Bridge. And then usually for my nose, I'll take my finger and just put it on the very tip. Do you see? Oh. Just put it on the very tip of my nose and also right here. Kind of like an exclamation mark, right? I don't know if people still do that, but I just like how it looks. A little bit on the cupid's bow just a little and then for lip what are we gonna do for lip i mean i guess it doesn't really matter because we're doing two different looks here so i'm actually just going to take glossier's ultra lip in cachet i really like this color it's a really pretty brown this is a very very light layer of this lip color perfect okay so this is the first two looks completed from far away so you can see let me zoom you guys back in a little bit just so there you go there's one side and then there's the other side i think they're both like very different eye looks but i think they're also both pretty easy kind of more beginner friendly I'm not like a pro or anything and I can do it. So I'm sure that you can do it too. But let us move on to the last two looks. Okay, we're back. Oh, this is so close. <laughs> okay, we're back. I've reapplied my concealer and my eyes are reprimed. I'm sorry that my mascara is still there, but 
What you gonna do? What we gotta do? Okay, we're gonna. I think I wanna do like a slightly smokier look for this next one. So I'm gonna zoom you guys back in. I know so many unnecessary zoom in, zoom outs, huh? Alrighty. What you guys will learn about me in this video is that <laughs> I literally just use the same brushes over and over again. And I personally just really like the rougher brushes. They are worth every single dollar <laughs> that I paid. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to take Art of the Swoon, that lighter pink color on a smaller brush and put that on the kind of inner half of my eyelid. Right in here, a little bit more. Okay, there we go. That same brush, I'm going to pick up Love Match, that deeper pink shade, and run that on the outer half of my eye. Again, with that winged shape. And you wanna bring this a little bit higher up, just because you want it to be able to peek through when we deepen up this lid in a second. Connect the two in the center. You know what, I guess they are kind of different. <laughs> I guess. I guess it is fine that we have both. Doesn't matter if the bottom half, by the way, is messy because it's just gonna get covered up anyways. I have no idea how this look will turn out, by the way. <laughs> I've never done it. I didn't do any like practice runs or anything like that. I'm just filming as we go along. I've gotten a lot of questions about, well, I guess not questions. I've gotten a lot of requests about doing more like tutorial style videos so that's what we're doing today don't really know what format i want to do so we're just gonna see <laughs> all righty dude the lighting is so i'm really sorry that it keeps changing in this video i'll try to do my best to see what i can do about that in the future i'm really sorry about why it keeps changing and stuff the sun just keeps coming in and out do you see how like now she's out again Taking that deeper pink, we're gonna run that on our bottom lash line. And you wanna run that all the way, all the way in this time. Okay, that looks good. Um, taking Plum Regalia, the deepest shade in the palette, with that same brush, I know, I'm just gonna keep using the same one. You wanna put that all over like your eyelid underneath your crease. I'm getting a lot of fallout in the pan from this shade in particular. Cute, okay. I think I wanna take that deeper pink one more time and just pack that onto the crease a little bit more. Again, not cleaning my brush or anything, just using the same brush. Keep that wing out. I'm actually going to take a flat brush. This is the Refer 02. I'm gonna take that to pack in on the on the lower part of the crease. Yes, stunning. All right, using that same brush, I'm going to take Duchess Divinity and put that on the inner half of my lid. This color, you guys, is insane. Actually insane. And I just want almost like just a light wash so I'm not using that Intensifies wand. Perfect, and then we're gonna put that on the lower, the first third of the lower lash line as well. Cute. Okay. Cleaning off that Refer 02 brush, actually. I just used like a color switcher kind of thing, you know, one of those spongy things, and then you just, that's how I clean my brushes in between usage and stuff, if I wanna use the same brush. So, Taking the Astral Shade Regency Blue, I think we're gonna put that on our inner corners. And I usually like to take my shimmer up a little bit anyways. Oh my god, okay. I don't know if you guys can see. That Astral Shade is actually stunning. All right, and then we're gonna put that on our brow bone as well. Just for a little, a little extra sparkle. Okay, and that's the look. I'm not gonna put liner because I feel like this look is kind of already dark. I'm gonna recurl my lashes just so they're lifted and I'm gonna show it to you guys like up close, up close. Here is the look up close. All right, and let's work on the other eye. What should we do? 
I'm just gonna do something very light and like cute. I guess. Okay, so taking Art of the Swoon, the lighter pink shade, on my Ruffer 15 brush, we're just going to put this all over the eyelid. Again, I just have that Fenty eye base. It's like the only thing that I use, to be honest, because it's the only thing that keeps my lids from creasing. Slightly, slightly, slightly rounder shape for this look, so don't wing it out too much. Just you know, just, and we're not even really going to deepen the outer corner for this. Taking that tiny pencil brush, we're just gonna run that same color on the lower lash line. Actually, this is too small. Let me, I'm going to clean, <laughs> I'm going to clean my Refer 14 and use that on my lower, lower lash line just to spread that lighter pink color. Yes, and then, with our finger, we are going to take Duchess Divinity and just put that all over the eyelid. You guys, oh my god. That's like liquid metal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Okay. Uh, flat brush, taking that same shade on the lower lash line. And then taking that same flat brush, going into Astral, sorry, going into Regency Blue, we're going to pop that on the center. Which you're not really going to be, I don't think the camera is picking up what this color is really doing. It's cute, cute, okay. Um, taking that same rougher O2 flat brush, I'm gonna just clean that same brush again to give it a quick little dusting. We're going to take Iconic Ingenue, the, the champagne color, right in the inner corners and on the brow bone. So using just a flat, flat brush, any flat brush. This is literally just an eyebrow brush. I'm just gonna use that to make a very tiny wing on my eye. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just very tiny wing, very tiny. Very subtle wing. You see how small? So cute. You can drag it down a little bit if you want. But yeah, very cute. Awesome, all right. I'm gonna give my lashes one more curl, give them a recoat of mascara, and then I will pull you guys back out so you can see the final look. Okay, and those are your four eye looks. While I look like a crazy person, let's go through my thoughts about this palette as a whole. So, like I mentioned in my original like palette collection video, I did not see Bridgerton when I bought this palette. I watched it after I bought it, and now I'm like, cannot wait for season two to be honest i'm like should i just re-watch the whole first season just to prepare myself i'm probably not gonna do that but in terms of this palette oh the sun is out again let me move over you guys can see into the rest of my apartment okay so the sun is out so the lighting is weird again but anyways okay so moving on pat mcgrath bridgerton palette collection i love pat mcgrath literally i will probably buy most if not all of the palettes that she releases. I just really like her artistry. I'm a big fan of her work and I just really like her formulas. They're very foolproof in my opinion. Um, other people could say differently and that's fine. We can all have different opinions and we're all at different levels in terms of how we apply makeup anyway. So it's not gonna be the same for everybody. Um, but for me, I really like this palette. Color story wise, is it anything new in terms of Pat McGrath? Probably not. I have Divine Rose 1 and 2 and Utopian Dream. So to be honest, I probably could have recreated any of these looks with any of those palettes. I also have her Holiday palette, which also has some similar shades. The only thing that was new to me in terms of this palette was this blue shade right here, Regency Blue. I do not have a pat shade similar to this blue, but I know that in her very first Mothership, the very cool tone like Mothership 1, there is a shade similar. So if you have that and you have any of the other Mothership palettes, I'm sure you could recreate this look too. So is it worth buying? 
probably not if you don't really care if you don't care about collecting these palettes if you don't care about bridgerton the show then i would not recommend it especially if you have other pat mcgrath palettes and you could just recreate the colors in this look i honestly don't think that it's that unique of a color story but to me as somebody who likes to collect makeup it was worth it for the packaging um, it was worth it for the embossing it was worth it for these baked shades right here oh that's another thing that i forgot to mention these three shades on the bottom are all baked shades which she's never done in a smaller palette before so just that experience alone you know makes it worth it for me so you just have to figure out if it's worth it for you i hope this tutorial slash review was helpful if you liked it please make sure you click that like button and you subscribe click that notification bell so you never miss a video and i think that's it i will see you guys in my next one 